the next few videos in this tutorial are all going to be about money in and out of the bank account or the petty cash account or the credit card account any account that appears on this screen the bank module the next few videos are all going to be about money in and money out why does it take three videos well there are a number of different scenarios and different payments and receipts that can be recorded with Sage. For example, there are bank payments such as paying insurance, paying bank charges, and then there are supplier payments when you need to make a payment against an invoice that you've entered onto the Sage system. And it's the same with receipts. If you receive bank interest, that is a bank receipt and totally different to when a customer pays an invoice and you need a, a need to allocate a payment uh, received to an invoice raised. So there's a number of different scenarios. If it's confusing, I do apologize. It will make more sense as these videos go on. So in this first video of the next three, I'm going to go through customer receipts. So on the bank module, there is a customer receipt icon at the top. If I click on that, customer receipt bank current account appears. Now the bank current account is selected because that's the account highlighted. If I was to select Petty Cash and click back customer receipt, you'll see that Petty Cash now appears as the selected bank account. Now you can change that here, but it can just save time to highlight the bank account. Most of the time it's going to be the business uh, current account select that and then click customer receipt now if we go to the customer module I've added a customer here printers direct if I double click on that account and go to the activity tab you'll see that there are three invoices that I've entered here all of which are outstanding OS we have the OS column the outstanding column all three invoices are outstanding so let's say we want to allocate a payment we've received to this oldest invoice. Let's say Printers Direct have paid us £18 for invoice transaction number 9, dated the 9th of September 2019. Now usually you would have customer references here, um, or invoice references, invoice numbers, but that is blank purely because this is just an example. I haven't entered anything in there. So how do we allocate that payment received? We go to customer receipts. We bring up the customer account. So print is direct. All we need to do is start typing and the drop down list will appear automatically. Select print is direct. All outstanding invoices will appear in this list below. Enter the date the payment was received. Let's say it was received Wednesday last week, the second. The amount we received was 18 pounds. Reference, we need to put backs. And then all we need to do is click on the line of the invoice and then in the receipt column, put 18 and click save. If we now go to the customer account and I bring up the activity tab, you'll see that we have a sales receipt of 18 pounds and this invoice for 18 pounds is no longer outstanding. It's just these two that are now outstanding. So let's do another one. Bank accounts, customer receipt, bring up the customer account, enter the date the payment was received, enter the amount that was received. Let's do £90 this time. Reference, we can put backs. And £90 covered this invoice, which was 30 and this invoice which was 60 click save if we now go to that customer account you'll see there's no balance on their account and if I go to the activity tab all those sales invoices and sales receipts are showing as I click on each of these lines you get further information appear in this bottom box so with this sales receipt of 90 pounds at the bottom it tells me which invoices that £90 has been allocated to the 30 and the 60 Now if I run a statement for this company, 
this customer printers direct you'll be able to see that on their statement you can see each invoice that has been raised and the payments received so that's the basics of recording customer receipts on sage 50 cloud in the next video we'll go through supplier payments and then we'll look at bank receipts and bank payments